I'm going to be benchmarking the new 5060 Ti versus the 9070 today without any frame gen. The 5060 Ti is from Gigabyte and the 9070 is from Razrock. Azrock. Razrock. You know what I'm talking about. They're both 16 gig cards. The 5060 Ti has DDR7, while the 9070 has DDR6. Both these cards are gonna be placed in a build that I think fits the cards pretty well. It has an Intel Core Ultra 5 245K, 32 gigs of RAM, 26 of 16 at 6,000 speed, a Gigabyte B860 Aurorus Elite motherboard, and all of these tests are gonna be ran in 1080p and 1440p. All the games that we are testing today have a built-in benchmarking tool. They are very demanding, so it's gonna be putting these cards to the test. A few things before we get started, I did record this on a one PC setup. So not only am I running these benchmarking, but I'm also recording using OBS. So I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of an increase in performance because again, I am using some of the resources of the computer to do the recording. Also something to mention, I'm only gonna be posting one set of settings before every benchmark. The only thing that's gonna be switching in between each setting is going to be the resolution, obviously going from 1080p to 1440p, as well as if we have an NVIDIA card in, we're gonna have DLSS on, set on quality, and if we have an AMD card on, we have FSR switched on, also on quality. I don't wanna take up more of your time, let's just jump right into it. The first game on the list is Assassin's Creed Shadows. At 1080p, the average FPS for the 5060 Ti was 46, the min was 35, and the max was 60. The max wattage comes in around 126 watts. On the other hand, the 9070 averaged 72 FPS with a minimum of 24, a maximum of a 158, which is a crazy range, and a max wattage of almost double the 5060 Ti, 248, giving it a 26 average FPS increase. At 1440p, you see a lot of the same. The 5060 Ti averaged an FPS of 42, a minimum of 24, and a maximum of 54, with a max wattage of 130. The 9070, on the other hand, had an average of 69 FPS, with a minimum of 20, and a maximum of 169, with another crazy maximum and minimum, with a max wattage of 269, almost doubling the 5060 Ti, giving it a 26 average FPS boost. The next game on our list is Call of Duty at 1080p on extreme settings. For the 5060 Ti, it averaged 109 FPS with 1% lows at 72 and the max wattage at 120. The 9070, on the other hand, averaged an FPS of 133 with the 1% lows at being at 86 and the max wattage at 218, giving it a 24 plus average FPS between the two cards. At 1440p, the 5060 Ti averaged 81 FPS with the lows being at 56 and the max wattage at 130. The 9070 on the other hand averaged an FPS of 126, 1% lows at 84 and a max wattage at 250 giving it a 45 average FPS increase. But don't worry, we didn't just test it on extreme, we also tested it on minimum settings. The 5060 Ti averaged 177 FPS with the 1% lows at 126, with the max wattage being at 113. The 9070, on the other hand, averaged an FPS of 188, 1% lows at 120, max wattage at 152, only giving it an a plus 11 average FPS. At 1440p, the 5060 Ti averaged 132 FPS, with the 1% lows being at 91, the max wattage being at 122. The 9070 averaged an FPS of 185, 1% lows at 118, and a max wattage of 313, giving it a whopping 53 average FPS increase. The next game on our list is Forza 5 at 1080p on extreme settings. The 5060 Ti averaged an FPS 142, 1% lows at 110, and the max wattage coming in around 121 watts. The 9070, on the other hand, averaged an FPS of 199, 1% lows at 143, and the max wattage coming in around 244, which is almost double, if not is double, what the max wattage of the 5060 Ti is. But the 9070 gets a 57 average FPS increase. At 1440p, also on extreme settings, the 5060 Ti averaged 124 FPS, 1% lows at 104 and max wattage at 130. The 9070 averaged an FPS of 181, 1% lows at 130 and the max wattage 240, again with a 57 average FPS increase, which is again pretty nuts. I would probably like this game a lot more if I wasn't driving around a Corvette. Don't be mad at me.
the next game on our list is Monster Hunter Wilds at 1080p on Ultra settings. The 5060 Ti averaged FPS at 80, the 1% lows at 44, the max wattage at 115, coming in at a score of 27,305. The 9070, on the other hand, averaged an FPS of a 103, 1% lows at 49, the max wattage at 238, which is again over double of the max wattage of the 5060 Ti, and a coming in at a score of 35,134, giving it a 23 average FPS increase. At 1440p on ultra settings, the 5060 Ti averaged 68. The 1% lows are at 39. The max wattage at 126, and the score of 23,068. The 9070 averaged an F FPS of 98. 1% lows at 47. The max wattage at 258, and a score of 33,367, with a 30 average FPS increase. This game was super beautiful. The next game on our list is Black Myth Wukong at 1080p on cinematic settings. The 5060 Ti averaged an FPS of 58, with the 1% lows being at 47, and the max wattage coming in around 142. The 9070 averaged FPS at 72, the 1% lows at 27, and the max wattage at 250, giving it a 14 average FPS increase. I really hope they would have showed more of the action of the actual game, but we got water and trees, and that's what we're getting. At 1440p, you see a lot of the same. The 5060 Ti averaged at 48 FPS, 1% lows at 40, the max watch coming in around 145. The 9070, on the other hand, averaged FPS at 64, the 1% lows at 24, and the max wattage at 253 with a 16 average FPS increase. With all being said, the trees and the water do look very nice. As an extra bonus, we ran both cards through the 3D Mark benchmarking software at 1440p. The 5060 Ti averaged 34 FPS. On the other hand, the 9070 averaged 58 FPS, giving it a 24 average FPS increase. Cool thing about this benchmarking system, it not only refers it to kind of compare it to other games, but you can run your cards through this software to see what you would average in other games like Battlefield, for example, on ultra settings, the 5060 Ti can get over 140 FPS. Same thing goes for Apex, you can check that and you get a over 140 FPS on ultra settings. Same thing with GTA 5 at 95 FPS on ultra settings. Same thing when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2, you can also get 60 plus FPS and of course Fortnite at 75 FPS, all on ultra settings. I hope the data helped you guys. This is my second ever benchmarking video. And to be honest, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I even ran into some trouble with my 9070, which kind of like blew up and stopped working halfway through the testing. So I ended up borrowing my buddies, which was the ASRock version that I talked about earlier in the video. It's crazy to think that both these cards come at a very similar price point, but the 9070 really came out to play today. And you can see that by the results we got. With the GPU market starting to level out a little bit and becoming more available, if there's any cards that you want me to put to the test or any games you want me to test, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.